Question 20. Calculate 143 times 37. Now, some people may refer to this as being long multiplication. And that is correct because any time you're timesing by a large number like 37, we can call it long multiplication. Now, we're going to use a method that we're going to refer to as the magic zero column method. We still do need to set the sum up in columns. So it's 143 times by 37. But you do need three lines of working out. What these lines are for will become clear as we go on. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to times 143 by 7 units. So we're going to do 7 threes, 7 fours, and 7 ones in that order. 7, 3, 7, 4, 7, 1. And we're going to write our answer on this top line. So 7, 3's is 21. Put your 1 in, carry your 2. 7, 4's are 28. Plus that 2 is 30. Put your 0 in, carry your 3. And 7, 1's are 7. Plus that 3 is 10. Put your 0 in, could carry one down here, but we've run out of columns here, so that one needs to go straight in. So seven lots of 143 is 1001. Next thing we need to do is we're now going to multiply 143 by this three. But remember, this three doesn't mean three. This three means 30 because it's in the tens column, 37. So to multiply by 30, you put a magic zero in, there's the magic zero, and then just times everything by 3. And it has the same effect as multiplying by 30. So you put your magic zero in, and now multiply everything by 3. So we're going to do 3 threes, 3 fours, 3 ones. In that order. 3 threes, 3 fours, 3 ones. Let's do 3 threes first. 3 threes are 9. Put your 9 in. 3 fours are 12. Put your 2 in, carry your 1. And 3 1s are 3, plus that 1 is 4. So that's 4,290. Now, the final column, the final row, should I say, is the obvious one. On this row, we've done 7 lots of 143. On this row, we've done 30 lots of 143. So the final row is where we put the two answers together to get 37 lots. We need to add these two together now. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 9 is 9. 0 plus 2 is 2. 1 plus 4 is 5. Notice when I'm actually adding these two rows up, I did not add these digits that I carried here. I didn't add that 1. I didn't add the 3, nor the 2, nor the 1. That's because I've already included them in earlier on in the calculation. You don't include them again. So you only add up the large numbers that you've written on the answer lines in the spaces. Okay. So your final answer should be 5,291. So just to check what we did there. On the first line, we did 143 times 7. On the second line, we did 143 times 30. So we put the magic zero in and then just multiply by 3. And on the final line, we added everything together to get 37 lots of 143. Final answer, 5,291.